all count one. The, the, the count one coordinator, who is he's not the boss, the teacher the course, right? The instructor the course. I don't know. I said you were more informed. <laughs> Sorry, is that for I don't even know. Who's your Who's your Oh, yeah, that guy's horrible. He's a horrible <laughs> teacher. Yeah. I'm not even joking. Yeah, I, I took him like for like uh, pre-calc, <laughs> and like he would give you a project, <laughs> and then when you turn your project, he'll mark everything down, just give right back to you. Doesn't doesn't check the work, doesn't care. What is, and it's when he administers the test, he literally would walk out of the room, just go into his bathroom, and everybody just like start pulling out their notes, start doing their home. I'm like, what is this? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> 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 He's a horrible teacher. Like, he doesn't teach. He lets you. But the situation where your grade has the not done a test, I'm pretty sure he's giving you the luck of the draw. You better believe in the heart of the phone, bro. <laughs> you gonna talk about some glass like that. You should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you say the point of course. Didn't change the job course? What's that? Didn't change the job course? Um, yeah. What? You still fail it though. That's a little bit of retake it. Well, I'm not retaking it. Good. Well, not here at least. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody retake it. Don't do it. Don't retake it. Don't retake it. Hell with that. I didn't know. This like a, I thought it'd be like. I thought it was going to be difficult, but I, I wasn't expecting the workload to be this. Yeah. They, they don't change the workload. It doesn't matter what semester. It doesn't matter if it's the winter semester. It doesn't matter if it's the seventh week, the five week, four week. It's, it's always the same. They don't change it. Not even three count, not nothing. Yeah, the instructor does. He's in trouble. He's doing something wrong. That's not. I get emails all the time. That's just you're not fair then. So, like, the original course is three months long? How long is it? Like, it's three months. It's three months. Three months. Three months. Before, have you ever seen it all? It's class of hell, man. Oh, uh, yeah. Not a good class. That's what a lot of people think. Like, oh, it'll be easier because now we're going to. I would have taken it over the whole summer, not, you know. This oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But people usually think, oh, it'll be a little bit easier. I don't have to do as much. The circle will skip some stuff. That's what they usually do. You don't Absolutely. Do I, I hear you, man. It, it's a reasonable way to think. And it just, you have precedent to think that way, right? But it turns out in these math classes, they do not change at all. Yeah, they did that. We only cover probably about four chapters a stack. Just ran up to him, just Mason, just because. <laughs> she went 
out of her way to do that. <laughs> It was her mistake, you're saying. Her car's over here, he's over here. She made sure to go the long way to the car. No, she probably like drove by. Why are you gonna do a drive by, man? <laughs> She's mean. <laughs> Don't park there. She's probably gonna play open care a lot. indefinite integral. It was indefinite. I tried to explain just a teeny bit before though it didn't really impact you. That's because it lacked limits of integration. It did not have any values along the uh, Kirby symbol there. Okay? So that was indefinite. Now we're going to have definite. And it's going to have some numbers or letters in this case at first on the lower enough part of this expression. But before we write all that out, I'm going to do the impetus behind the process we just went through with approximating, say something more else? <laughs> There's like a little line. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. It's not really hard, is it? It's just it was in the hallway. It was just sitting there. It was just walking around in the hallway, mind some business, and Rosella just brought it in here. All right. <laughs> arbitrary curve again of x. We saw before in the previous section how to estimate the area under the curve from a to b, right? We made estimates. Now we want to find the exact thing. We want to find the exact area under an arbitrary curve. Right? Now, one thing to note about the process we're going to go through right now is danger. Red is danger. Green is the good case. A is the dangerous case. If you have a curve which goes both above and below the x-axis, then there's a small nuance to this problem. That is what's called net area. We're going to be finding net area in these computations. What was the green one? The green one is just very old-fashioned area. And so what happens is you get a positive area, right? Because everything is above the x-axis, all these heights are positive, then you get a positive value area. But in the case where some of the heights lie below the x-axis, so if we said that here's A, and then over, I don't know, here, there's B. So now you're 